Should you roll? 316, Rodeon Raid Up. Hello! Today we will be breaking down this raid up, and if in my humble opinion, you should roll the gacha in an attempt to get the new units or not. On this raid up in particular, the answer is a resounding no! This is what's usually called a bait raid up. Bait raid up is a gacha game terminology that is used in two situations. First, raid ups of already released units that are used as filler between new character releases, and second, raid ups where multiple units of the same rarity are sharing a raid up. Those descriptions fit our situation to a T, but let me tell exactly why it isn't optimal to roll on those type of raid ups. Rolling for an old character isn't that bad. However, nine times out of ten, they probably aren't going to be useful gameplay wise. It's in the nature of a gotcha game for new units to be better than old ones. Because the developers want you to spend money to get the new unit. If you don't have enough gotcha currency, and as a free to play, you never have enough, you should only roll for new units. Now let me tell you what a scam split rate ups are. As usual, when you roll, the game calculates the rarity of the unit and then flips a coin to see if it's going to be a unit on rate up or not. If you win the 50% chance coin flip, then congratulations, you got the new unit. But that's going to happen if there is only one unit of that rarity that's on rate up. With multiple, the game rolls again to see which unit it's going to be. If there are two rate-up units of the same rarity and you want only one of them, then you must win the coin flip to get it. For three or more rate-ups of the same rarity, the chance of getting that one specific unit you want is going to be harder than rolling a triple zero ID on a solo rate-up. You can roll more than 50 times and it is possible that you wouldn't get that double zero rate-up ID that you wanted. Thankfully, because of the shard system, you only need 150 shards for a double zero ID. So even with no shard boxes or min rolls, you will get it eventually. Having said that, however, there is some benefit to using your lunacy in this raid up. Since this is a raid up of a single character, you will get a ton of Rodeon shards here. Of course, because of Limbus Company's unique character system, you can only use one Rodeon identity in battle, so we need to compare them and see which one we are going to use. Personally, I don't like LCCB Rodeon. Her focus on defense down and the low max roll potential of her skills really bring her down. Not even her huge 0.82 growth can save her, so it's really a matter of who you like more between Hammer and Kurakumo Rodeon. Kurakumo has better bleed stacks and good damage potential due to the critical damage of poise. However, Hammer Rodeon is just absurd. Fnatic is one of the best positive status effects in the game right now, and it's only going to get even better with more Encorp units coming out. If you want to roll, then aim for Encorp Rodeon. She is future proof. Thank you very much for watching this video. If I helped push you to roll or made you change your mind, please tell me in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Goodbye for now, but I'll be seeing you on the next raid up.